Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and I'm a blogger behind eleganceofshape.com. In today's video we're going to talk about Coco Chanel and all the inspiration of, in my style. And my style is very different to what's out there at this moment. This is one of the reasons why I started blogging and I've been doing that for about five years now. So I left that link down below as long as my social as well as my social media um, and Facebook, Instagram, I'd love for you to come follow me there as I upload only every Sunday. Now, Coco Chanel has always been, actually, no, let me scrap that. Coco Chanel has not always been an um, inspiration to me. I found um, when I was younger, obviously, I wanted to try the trends and try what's new, what's good, and see what would um, look good on me personally because I've got a curvy body. But now that I'm in my 30s, obviously, I've turned down heaps. I find that um, Coco Chanel has um, great Karl Lagerfeld done what he'd done to the brand. I find that Coco Chanel's originality and her elegance and her um, proper quality of clothes style is uh, similar to mine. Obviously, she's influenced me. I'm talking like I've known her for, for, for many years, but obviously I don't because that means I'll be 100, but I'm only 34. But uh, what I've seen, I've left some um, videos in the description box below with everything else as well. Um, some videos I watch on YouTube, um, I found them quite um, inspiring. Um, I have done the trends, I find what's classic, what suits me, I know what suits me. Um, unless I'm trying something up new, but generally, no, I already know what to wear. Um, a lot of the trends now and a lot of the fashion designers are really open and I'm not that type. And um, 1920s, 1950s is my favourite era and I find they were really classy, like I said, and really elegant and they had that nice twist. Doesn't necessarily mean grandma in any way, but also means that like the quality of the clothes is better, it looks better and it fits well to your body. So that's going on with that. So she's uh, been a huge inspiration to me is because she has started her brand um, when the time where women were only housewives. And that's fine if you are, but at a time where women, like this day and age, it is easy for women to pick up her stuff. Like if something happens, they can pick, she can pick up her stuff, get it together and move on and build a new life. But at that time, that was very hard, but she was able to do that and I find that very inspiring. Tough women for me inspire me all the time. My mum is one of them and my sister. But that's putting that aside, Coco Chanel was one of them. So her style has just influenced me pretty much. Anyway, let's get into the um, nitty gritty of it. Um, I obviously I'm wearing a t-shirt that says Coco made me do it. Um, it's a plain t-shirt, nothing nothing crazy, but it's something that I've kept. It's old, but it's just a t-shirt that I wear with like plain plain pants and plain je jeggings or, or leggings or anything like that, or even a skirt. Um, this is actually my Chanel belt. I bought this many years ago, so I quit smoking about five, six years ago. Um, actually six years ago, coming to six years ago, and I wanted to splurge on something, so I decided to go to Chanel, I was thinking it's my favourite brand, and buy something for myself, and I did, and this was it. So I can wear it many ways, so if you're not, um, not aware, my style, is very um, obviously elegant, you know, classy and everything, but also like to um, buy the classics and build from that. So I can wear this many ways. So I can wear it as a necklace, I can put it around my waist like I'm doing now, like I can put it on my pants like now. Um, I'll put it around my ankle before with some pearls, make it look like an anklet because everything else was quite bare. But generally, my style is like that, and I've kept this since about five, six years ago, and this is the best purchase I've ever made. Not the most everyday purchase, but it is the best purchase. I've worn it to weddings. I've got another one that's got the actual letters of Chanel, but this one I find it's very simple, which is what I like. Go on to the next one. She kept it quite simple. Yes, she was well known for her strings of pearls, whether they're fake or not, which I'm going to show you. Now, so whether they're fake or not, she was well known for that. Um, I'm not minimalist 100%. I do like to be girly, I do like to be dressed up. If I find pearls fake or not, um, that's the thing with Coco Chanel, she didn't exactly wear her real pearls. Like if you go to a Chanel store, buy their ropes of pearls with the Chanel logo on it, it is not real. So you don't exactly um, have to go to Chanel to buy them. You can go to uh, La Vinza or anything like that and purchase them yourself. I've had these for many years and I just wear them for going out, dressing up plain in a little black dress, which I've done for a wedding. Yep, I wore black to a wedding before, which I'm going to touch that in a second. And I looked elegant and I just 
tiny and well with the Kardashian movement. On to the next one. And I'm black. I love black clothing. I'm really trying here to break break it up by adding like pops of colour like millennial pink or heaps of white, black and white as you can tell. But um, I quite find it hard, uh, quite hard because black for me is timeless and classy. I find it goes well with everything. Back in the day, about 10 years ago, I used to like, pop it with um, something else like a, you know, a yellow or green top but not thinking actually two of the contrast so like I've made many mistakes in fashion and style and um, I just find that now the colors that I'm incorporating with black are like soft pinks like this one um, from Lana Hill it's like a millennial pink as I call it or um, black and white like this cardigan that I got as well so just about incorporating simple colors not over daring not too much but making it keeping that classy on to the next one. She was well known for um, wearing um, pencil skirts, which again, don't even spend a lot of money. Um, and I just bought this from Daily Girl. This is a plain white. I love black and white, like I'm wearing more white now these day and age. But um, heaps of like uh, same colour but different pattern kind of thing. So I'll probably wear this belt with this and a nice white um, or cream top. Very classy, very elegant, and very Chicago Chanel. The next one. Wearing like a blouse, so I bought this from Zara, and one of the reasons why I picked it is because it's got this, like, this little button detailing, as you can see, and it's quite like elegant. The buttons aren't obvious, but it's still quite um, impactful, and I find that it looks elegant. So yeah, definitely like a Coco Chanel moment, but it's not costing the whole bank. <laughs> so they're my favourite kind of tops, and. Your kind of tops tuck into skirts or even pants like this with this and nice pair of heels and I'm ready to go. Cardigans. I find that um, I go through cardigans like all the time. Um, I love wearing jackets but sometimes Melbourne can be quite temperamental with the weather in case you didn't know and um, I think it's a lot of places these days but I generally find cardigans like this so it's got like the um, like a cream or like a millennial pink like this one. So actually, many of you guys are saying that. Um, anyway, so I buy some of the black trimming and it makes it look very Coco Chanel without spending too much money. I actually spent about twenty dollars on this. This is from Deborah K back in the day, and I've still kept it. I'd wear it like a plain black dress, and I'm ready to go out. Something quick and easy. I can shove it in my bag. No worries. Also, this cardigan from Alana Hill. I actually got this from Savers, so I was up shopping that day, and I did not expect to pick up something so cute like this. It's in your pink, so it's got like the bow um, with the pearl details. I love me some pearl, and the black trimming again, and makes it look very Coco Chanel without putting too much on the price tag. The next is tweed. Um, finding like tweed, like this is a shift dress, but I can wear it as a top. I tuck it into a pencil skirt and make it look like something new altogether. Um, I love tweed, especially in winter. In case you didn't know, tweed keeps you warm. So I usually, um, and I know a lot of people, including myself, don't like to be looking too bulky, especially in winter. Whereas if you have the tweed, you're putting one less item on. This is one of the reasons why I buy tweed. So like, again, this is Kmart, an old jacket. It does, it's not exactly tweed, but it looks like it and it, it feels good on. And I usually wear like these kind of fitted jackets at the top with jeggings, jeans, that kind of thing, or leather pants, or like this one, or like this one from uh, Bessa Coco Chanel from Zara. Um, again, tweed, it's black, so obviously it goes with everything, but it looks good with pearls, it looks very Coco Chanel, and a lot of people ask me if it's from Chanel because it looks quite, quite similar. And going on the jackets, um, I usually pick. Um, something that's quite short on me so like this so that plus a nice pencil skirt and it looks like a suit so um, looks very Coco Chanel find it looks very on the trend and on the brand skip away from fashion well clothing I'm going to talk about the shoes the shoes that fell off the rack I'm really sorry about that um, these are from Nine West not spending a lot of money I bought these on sale shoes that are not so high but still got a bit of elevation like these I find it's high enough you can walk in them all day, they're more comfortable, and these are quite um, padded inside, the Nine West ones, and I, knew, I know at the time they came in many colours, so like, I think a, a cream, nude, and like a pink, 
sort of like this. They were really cute, but they were the really high ones. And I, really high stiletto. I think they're like 10 centimeters or something. So I didn't even bother. I just got these. They've got like a nice little cute detail at the front. And um, they look quite elegant, especially with pencil skirts. But they look very cute. So when I put like an, even a mini skirt, um, like a mini skater skirt, it looks quite cute and look like really Coco Chanel. And as well as that, these are patents, which means they make look more polished and look more put together without actually putting too much together. But yeah, anyway, that's it for today's video. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, like I said, I'd love for you to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. I'll be doing more style inspiration and more style stuff going further in my YouTube career, as you'd like to call it. Um, but I'd love to see you back here. Um, I've, like I said, I've left all my blog and social media links down below. So if you really, like including my blog, I've got a lot of outfits on there. I shoot a lot of content on there. Probably not as much as now since YouTube has come along. But I still do and I've got heaps on there. Especially like Kago Chanel vibes. If you're, into that, if you're into that sort of style, please do follow along with my journey towards YouTubeness. <laughs> such words. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'd love to see you back here if you're, if you're new. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you um, next Sunday for my next video. Bye, guys.